The medicines and health service delivery monitoring unit began its investigations today after a tip of the government malaria drugs were being sold to the public at Musoke Clinic in Intinda. National and district health officials were summoned to explain why the clinic had over 650 doses of the drugs, while records show it had received only 60 doses from NMS. No, 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 this is for malaria, not for malaria. I'm doing air. No one is monitoring this. Then among the drugs they receive, also she, she had some drugs whereby it was also uh, allocated here Musoke domiciliary. The National Medical Stores says the batches at the clinic were meant for Eastern Uganda. The clinic has also refused to put up a sign that there are free malaria drugs available. Although accredited by Ministry of Health as an antiretroviral therapy center, it does not meet the minimum standards required. We, we've been moving to the districts and you ask the, the people and they can't show even the documentations that actually they bought drugs. Meanwhile, the city hall clinic in Kampala was also put on the spot for a non-functioning lab, yet it collects millions of shillings from yellow fever vaccinations. A number of issues were also found disturbing, especially regarding the allocation of money and the way services are delivered. But the district health officer who sits here could not readily give the answers. The managers could not explain the irregular expenditures. For instance, over 25 million shillings was spent on the polio campaign, cholera and killing of stray dogs in Kulambilo recently, as well as large sums were spent on undefined activities labelled just as official work. I will have to go through those papers again. No, not, not now. Not now. Not now. Not now. Because certainly, I don't know. I don't think we will replace it. We for... Sure. I'm sure about that. I think I am saying I'm sure about what happened on that area, but we we are going to I'm going to find that. Money. The monitoring unit has vowed to prosecute all the people involved in such scams. Anna Kunda, NTV 11.